everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. This is our daily card reading for September 14th, 2021. Let me see what we have going on here as we break down the weekly into daily. So if you have not checked out the weekly, make sure you do that. And also I do have, uh, we're experimenting with this, so we'll see if people are interested. But right now I have content up where it is each individual sign in a video, all 12 signs, get over there and check it out. If you do like it, make sure you thumbs up. All right. Centering again, it's more of this soul chemistry, soul alchemy process. Okay. So oh, I can't say it enough guys. I would love to sit here and tell you, be sure to be doing your meditation and your yoga. But so many people who engage in yoga do it because it's trendy. I'm telling you, I, I've seen it so often or they're approaching it with this utter pretentiousness and it's not doing anything for you. Well, maybe moving your body and getting you strong. But I mean, as far as like opening you up to a higher awareness and higher consciousness, I think in some cases people are just telling themselves a story. And you can see that they're telling themselves a story when they act elitist about their spirituality. I've got life figured out. Oh, I'm special. I'm watch it. All right. So centering is a part of this process. And that is to say, to get steady. Okay. To get steady. So if things are pulling you this direction, that direction, coming within and noticing it, accepting it, but not letting it throw you off. Now, this is tricky. What does that actually mean? We're always saying like, don't let it get to you. Well, how do you do that? You can go through every, it's going to be different for everybody, but you can go through this process of first just breathing through it, breathing through it. And as you feel the fear coming up, you can ask your guides, your angels, um, what is this about? And see what imagery comes up. If you are resistant to seeing why you're feeling the way that you are, it's okay. It's going to just take some time. Or it may come up when you're actually up and moving your body. That's why yoga, again, if you're doing it right <laughs> and you're engaging in it for the right reasons, can be very, very helpful. But um, this can just kind of help you lift some false beliefs. That's one of them. Um, and one of them they're really wanting to get through is um, believing the thought form uh, infection, let's say. Thought form infection that we are enemies. that division. Why do you think things are happening the way that they are? I'm preaching to the choir, I know, but just as a friendly reminder, <laughs> that is what's going on. So when we get centered and we know like, okay, it's, it's not about being suspicious or paranoid or any of that. No, that's not centering. That's not being in alignment. It's saying, okay, this is part of the process. Well, let me look at my response to this. Is that true? Do I really need to be afraid of this? Okay, there are scary things going on out in the world. But if I raise my consciousness, if I'm making that a priority, and now I have new understandings coming at me, now I'm contributing to the shift in a positive way. Will there be positive results? Yeah. We see it all the time, guys. When, when we were ha right in the middle of everything happening in 2020, a lot of practitioners were going live on, um, I hate technology, believe it or not. I love my little camera, but only because I'm familiar with it. <laughs> but, you know, like they would go live and they would do these massive peace meditations. And then all of a sudden, okay, certain mandates are lifted, at least for now. I'm not saying that we're the ones that did that, wah, wah, wah. But I think we contributed. I think we contributed to, um, you know, healing. Right? If you're a healer, you know your healing abilities. Maybe you are actually a doctor or a nurse or a therapist or something like that, but a <laughs> counselor. But I'm talking about energy healers. When we're doing our work and we're being centered, we are helping the shift. And yeah, we might get little bits of feedback about that, which mainstream wise still would be dismissed, even though it's right there um, but that is what it is talking about here so looking at what is processing not being in denial looking at how you respond to it and getting yourself equalized through meditation and yes 
yoga only if you are approaching it with the right intention. And it doesn't have to be yoga, guys. It could be Tai Chi. It could be a hike. It could be belly dancing. I'm getting into belly dancing, by the way. That's why you're going to hear me use that (laughs) as an example quite a bit. You know, just things like that. Whatever feels like sacred movement to you, whatever brings flow into your body, go for it. All right. We're going to leave it there for today. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.